I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to speak to you about a salty subject. Excuse the pun. Don't lose your saltiness. That's what Jesus said. If you do, you are no good, but to be thrown out and to be trampled upon over on the road. Let's go to the Word of God. If you've got your Bible with you, please turn with me to the book of Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, and 1 verse, verse 13. Jesus says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. That's right. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. If we lose our saltiness, Jesus says, well, then we've got nothing more to say. How do you lose your saltiness? How does something no longer retain its salt? By dilution. When you dilute it, it becomes less and less salty. Isn't that right? You ask any of the ladies, they'll tell you. You put water in that salt and you dilute it. Jesus says we must remain salty. Now, compromise is what causes you to lose the strength of your saltiness. When you start to compromise God's word, when you see something that's not right and you don't speak up, then you're starting to compromise. And when you do something, young lady, that you know is wrong, but you continually do it, eventually your testimony, your saltiness disappears. And the Lord says, no more use but to be thrown away. We need to spend time with God. We need to spend time in the presence of God. This is my quiet time room. This is where I spend a lot of my life. We need to spend time in prayer. We need to spend time with Christians. If you start spending time with unbelievers, you will lose your effectiveness. You say, but Angus, we're supposed to go into the world. That's right. But remember, you don't become like the world. You've got to retain that saltiness. If you take salt and you put it in a, a wound, a festering wound, what happens? It will heal. But if you put anything else in there, sugar or anything else, it will make that wound even worse. When you put the salt in the wound, at the time that you do it, it is extremely painful. And sometimes when you have to tell somebody the truth in love, they don't like it. They actually hit back at you, and they might even curse you. But I want to tell you something. They'll come back one day and say, thank you. Thank you for telling me the truth. Thank you for standing aside and being different to the other people. You see, people don't have to love you, my dear friend, but they must respect you. Not everybody loved Jesus, but everybody respected the Son of God. So I want to encourage you now to be salty. Because salt, without salt, you can't eat your food, can you? Have you ever tried to eat a plate of porridge with no salt? It is bland. That's a good point. Bland. What does bland mean? It means tasteless, worthless. And that's what Jesus says you'll be if you cannot stand up for your faith. You can't hunt with the hounds and then run with the hares, as the saying goes. You're either hunting with the hounds or you're running with those rabbits, but you can't do both. Jesus says, if you're like that, I will spit you out of my mouth. Revelation chapter 3, verse 16. I would rather you even be ice cold than lukewarm. But if you're lukewarm, you've lost your saltiness. I'll have nothing more to do with you. So may God bless you as you start standing up for Him. Just repent, say, Lord, I'm sorry I've been, I've been using a double standard, but I'm getting back to you now. I'm going to become salty. When people know that I walk in the room, they must know who I follow. I follow Jesus. Goodbye.